hello friends so so for the seventh semester you basically have two labs one is the design lab other is the same lab computer integrated manufacturing lab so design lab will be handled by me so in design lab let's look out for the syllabus of design lab as you see on the screen the design lab syllabus so course objectives so students are expected to understand the natural frequency logarithm decrement tightening ratio and damping second one to understand the balancing of rotating masses third to understand the concept of critical speed of a rotating shaft the fourth one to understand the concept of stress concentration using photoelasticity to understand the equilibrium speed sensitiveness and power effort of governor so in part a so first instrument part a determination of natural frequency logarithmic decrement damping ratio coefficient of in the single degree of freedom system second one is determination of critical speed of rotating shaft third one is balancing of rotating masses so fourth one is determination of fringe constant of photoelastic material using circular disc subject to diameter compression pure bending specimen fifth one determination of stress concentration using photoelasticity for simple components like plate with the hole under tension or bending circular disc with a circular hole under the compression so out of all this so we have critical speed instrument so we have the full working condition we have balancing rotating masses so this two so the first three we have in the syllabus in our dom test book so first three experiments are from the DOM textbook. So remember DOM, nine mix of machines. We had this in models. We have already been already learned about critical speed, rotating passes, and natural frequency logarithmic decrement. But about the photoelastic material, so this comes from the subject experiment of stress analysis. It's an elective subject for a final year. So we'll just go. We'll not go deep onto this. We'll just learn about stress. Stress finding stresses in a photoelastic material. Then in part B, we have determination of equilibrium speed, sensitiveness, power, effort of a Porta Provel Hartnell governor any one of it determination of pressure distribution in general bearings determination of principal stress strain in work suited to loading using strain rosettes determination of stresses in crowd beams using strain gauge and experiments on gyroscope so we will do some experiments we will have a gyroscope experiment then pressure distribution also we have and also we'll have we will carry out on proper porta problem hard and go also so course outcomes so at, at the end of this course students will be able to understand the working principles of machines elements such as governors gyroscope etc to identify the forces couples in rotating mechanical systems components to identify the vibrations in machine elements and design appropriate damping methods and to determine the critical speed of rotating shafts to measure strain in various machine elements using strain gauges to determine minimum film thickness load carrying capacity frictional torque and pressure distribution of a journal bearing to determine strain induced in a special member using principle of photoelasticity So 
so basically there are 10 total of 10 experiments to carry out safety precautions Laboratory uniform, shoes, safety glasses, compass in the lab. Do not touch anything which are not completely familiar. Carelessness. You are not allowed to check the level equipment in the lab. Also, coffee is just to you and your other lab. Follow instru pro proper instructions precisely. By your supervisor, do not shut the instrument unless your setup is verified, approved by your supervisor. Do not leave the experiments on unlimited file in progress. Do not crawl around the equipment and inside the laboratory. During experiments, material may fear or disperse. Please wear safety glasses and maintain safe distance from the experiment. If any part of the experiment fails while being used, report it to your supervisor or try to fix for yourself because you could further damage the equipment and harm yourself in this lab. Keep the area work area clear of all materials it was made after the work so first about the introduction of universal governor so universal governor so on this will perform experiment on porter wet travel and hard new governors it's a universal setup you can change it to any type of governor and we can study the performance uh, characteristics curves and to find stability and sensitiveness so introduction theory the function of a governor is to regulate mean speed of an engine when there are variations in the load ex example when the load on the engine increases its speed decreases therefore it becomes necessary to increase the supply of the working fluid if the load on the engine decreases, its speed increases and thus working fluid is required. The governor automatically controls the supply of the working fluid to the engine with variable load conditions and keeps keeps the mean position with certain limits. The governor may be broadly classified as so one is a centrifugal governor, other one is an inertia governor. Centrifugal governor may be further classified as pendulum type that is wet governor called as wet governor. Second is called loaded type that is dead weight governor or so there are two loaded that is porter governor and probably there are dead weight governors and in that subdivision that is called as spring control governors Hartnell governor which we have Hartung and Wilson Hartnell governor and Pickering governor. Wet governor the simplest form of centrifugal governor is a bad governor it is basically a conical pendulum with links attached to the sleeve of negligible mass the arms of the governor may be connected to the spindle in the following three ways the pivot p may be on the spindle axis the pivot p may be offset to the spindle axis and the arms when produce intersect at o the pivot p may be offset when the arms cross the axis o Porter governor is a modification of wide governor is centrally attached when the load attached to the sleeve. The load moves up and down the central spindle. This additional downward force exerts the speed, increases the speed of revolution required to enable the balls to rise to a predetermined level. Probable governor. The probable governor is known as probable governor if the two balls are fixed on uh, on the upward extension of the lower rings which are forming the bent links.